Date you your it. spec. Yes. No, I, I can't talk. Again. Date Say your again. spec. Louder, please. <laughs> Date <laughs> your spec. So you're making it look like she did her own thing. Like, madam. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you have ever got in or not, in case you are new, and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so so much for always coming back to watch my videos, guys. I want to especially appreciate you guys. You guys are real G's. Like, I love you guys so much. I want to thank you all for all your support, your comments, your like. I love you guys. So today, guys, I'm going to create a different video. Like, it's going to be like a chit chat. And guess what, guys? I'm not just the only person. I have some info and guests people that came to my channel guys so it's going to be all juicy you know i i know i've not done such things in my channel before but today i decided to spice it up it's not just about skincare makeup vlog and all that so we are going to be doing a sit down video with some important people some important personnel they are youtubers mm. like we are into this community mm. we are mm. here mm. to you know give people all of all, all, like beautiful content on the way so guys sit tight while i introduce my beautiful guests to you guys so in case you've not subscribed to my channel you know you have to subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up so let's dive into the video guys so guys here with me are some important guests that came to my channel today i are going to be talking about a juicy topic guys we're going to be talking about something about relationship beside me here is you guys know you guys know this one now <laughs> her name is olichi i'm going to be leaving her um channel link in my description box and here by my beside me also is <laughs> delight square delight from delight square oh. you guys please head over to my channel and subscribe subscribe okay so guys so we are going to be going into the video please stay tight you know grab a snack and stay because this topic is very juicy so guys it's we are bomb, yeah guys. we are not relationship first parties but we are going to be talking out from our own next experience it will on next experience, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm not experience so. <laughs> so guys and you are to leave your comments oh, and we'll so guys literally oh. this video is mostly about i know i said it's about relationship mm. but the main subtopic here is things that the things that boys do that we don't like that we do not appreciate maybe we, from them they think it's okay they think it's a norm to do that but we are going to be discussing they are just few and i said that we are actually going to be talking from our experiences like how we've experienced it from guys so we're going to be sharing those things that we think that we don't like from guys so guys stay tuned so guys the first um topic we are going to be emphasizing on like this relationship topic is um it's just random things that we experience in relationship as young um adults in nigeria i, I think is is everywhere but i don't maybe especially amongst us here in nigeria so we actually wanted to talk about few you know few important ones and the first one is here is about someone ghosting you guys you know it happens a lot it happens and this is so so hurting so we are going to be discussing <laughs> and sharing our experience we promise to make it juicy so we are going to be talking about how the experience we've had with a guy ghosting you someone that walked up to you say i like you i want something serious with you and all of a sudden the guy the person is just ghosting you for nothing so we are going to be sharing our experience and also maybe talk about some reasons we think that leads to some people you know behaving this way so we are going to be hearing first from a lot of people say what is this ghosting on the bar like from the conversation i had with some people with some of my friends there are some people that said that their boyfriend ghosted them for two months really three months yes like all of a sudden the person stopped talking to you you don't even know what right. happened that's lack of communication the guy did not actually communicate okay i want to i'm going to be away or work stress but actually i think work stress should not actually make someone ghost, ghost you. you yeah so like this this is so so crazy guys out of my own experience i've dated a guy that he, he can ghost me for two weeks and ah. when i asked him he would tell me 
nothing is wrong. Guys, they will tell me nothing is wrong. We are cool, but why won't you take my calls? Why won't you reply my texts? Like, how can you tell me how that for, so for two months to we are dating? Know? Like, we are ghost dating each other. I don't <laughs> get it. <laughs> <laughs> if, if people ask you now, you say you're in a relationship. Yeah, I'm in a relationship. <laughs> What's the matter of the goal? So why not come straight and communicate? Like say this is the reason why. Okay. Sorry for cutting you short. I wouldn't really necessarily say that he was supposed to. Maybe. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I forgot we have a mic. Yes. <laughs> so um, I wouldn't necessarily say that he was ghosting you. I would say maybe he was not actually being into you as much as you were into him or not being committed in the relationship. Ghosting. I've experienced ghosting. Let me explain. Okay. Okay. okay so I want to say that me and this guy. Okay. So from my angle and from what I've been seeing, he was actually calling, texting, we always on video call. So to me, I was like, okay, so this guy is serious about something, you know? Then, after some time, I was like, okay. Then when I met him, he was like, I wouldn't say necessarily, um, I love you now because but I will see, let's just get to know each other better, stuff like that. But along the line, I found out that I was doing most of the calling, I was checking up, then one day I just told my friend, you know what, let me just not call him for today and see what happens. He locked up. So basically, it was just a one-sided thing, or he wanted something, and maybe he was not ready for a committed relationship at that yeah, time. And yeah. he saw what I was bringing to the table was not just to have a fling and stuff. So he just withdrew, ghosted me, stuff yeah. like that. So and we ghosted each other, Sha. We ghosted each other. Because okay, I stopped I calling. Yes, I stopped calling and stopped. Me, I know most reasons why people ghost are okay, maybe they may go on a date with you and you pull up some stunts that they literally are not even comfortable with. Yeah. Remotely, they leave that place, they're not calling you, they're not, they're not texting you. Over. And like they are blocking your ass right up. So I wouldn't say ghosting is actually good. And I wouldn't say it's bad, but it has its yeah, pros and cons. Yeah, yes, that comes to like, that. like some reasons why we think guys ghost people. So what reason do you think can make a guy ghost? One, guys are not ready for committed relationship. Pardon? <laughs> <laughs> That should be the that should be the number one. Like yeah. seriously, like if a guy maybe there's something he has not noticed about you, and then instead of just coming straight straight up, okay, babe, see, I don't like this thing, or change this aspect of you, or maybe he's the kind of guy that wants to like do things with other girls. Yes, he's not ready to be committed. Yeah, commitment. He's not ready yeah. to like yes do the things that main boyfriend. <laughs> so another reason, another reason I also think guys ghost girls a lot are um when they see that how should i put it you're on the demanding side yeah when it feels like all oh, your problems you just meet a guy for the first time and you're telling him your father is sick <laughs> you're telling him you're you are not expired until when you spend the crap for me my when god he... tv when you spend the push before <laughs> <laughs> when you spend the push before like i don't get it and when he gets some, you'll be asking yourself, like, I don't, I don't understand. I'm, I'm like, you like, I don't understand. Like, I can't deal. You know, a lot of people come into, and another thing, another reason why people ghost people is, when they see you have too much baggages, yeah. you have too much baggages and luggage. Wow. Like, they'll be like, I can't deal. Maybe he's coming from a place where he needs just someone to help him get along with his own baggages, and you're coming with your own extra. It will be like the world is about to. Yes, yeah. what is about to crush on your shoulders? Be like, no, 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 I yeah, can't take. Stress. Yes, yeah. I can't take this. Well, so that's like, that's that's like, that's much experience. That's yeah. Yes. Okay, guys, like we've shared our thought. Like ghosting is something that you shouldn't experience. It is so emotional, draining, and like it is an emotional damage. So, guys, please learn how to communicate with us before you go somewhere like communicate and maybe you can just tell that person i, I can't deal with this like i think communication will help mm. always communicate and i also think you communicating how you feel to that person might also break that person down the most so yes. another i said ghosting has its pros and yeah. cons yes. but in a long run maturity 
is always nice when you like learn to talk things out and the person is coming from a place whereby you try to like come down to that person's level that is when maturity steps in yeah. fine and good the person may get hurt but it depends on how you go about it and how you talk to that person and how you approach that person maybe you are not feeling the relationship at that time you might call the person up and be like okay can we hang out can we see i just want us to talk after a nice time you'll be like and you try when you're having that conversation you're coming from a place of friend like you're coming from a place of empathy and kindness you don't have to like try to rub it on that person's face that you're not what i want or you're not the level of stuff like you come from a place of okay i don't think we're actually ready to do this right now can we just be friends or it's not you with me like you come up with a okay, way of that trying to say that this like the section make sure you know what you want make sure you know why you are you want this person to avoid bringing that person in and all of a sudden you are ghosting that person yeah, yeah. okay let's go back to the i have a question i have a question what's it now eh? you're telling this person over and over again you're doing this i don't like it or you're just ghosting me why and nothing is happening what it come off as you nagging you like you're complaining too much you but it's not as easy as you think quitting. How many people? <laughs> how many people can? But the fact is that you you follow the person. It's you easy dance to say to quit, school. but it's not easy to do it. Okay, 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 okay. My, I, I want. I let me use myself as an example. When that happened to me, it wasn't easy. Don't mind me because I shouted, "You quit." Quitting is not an option. But what I did was I danced to his tune. Mainly, he started ghosting me. I ghosted him too. So that's not relationship. Yes. What will I do? I tried communicating with him severally and he told me nothing that we are good. Then I took it that we are good. Anytime you come here, I think if you don't come here, we move. So that's not actually a relationship. Not you not guys true. were just there. Yeah. You guys were just there. Yeah. So I'm a kind of person. If I'm into a relationship, we have to state the fact of what we're going into. You don't just wake up one morning and call me, then after the next and poor market day, you call me again. No, 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 no. I'm not that kind of person. You don't do that with me. No, no. We set our table straight. Okay. If we are ghosting, we ghost. If we're in a relationship, we're in a relationship. Period. So, guys, I want to take us to the second one, which is very, very juicy. Yeah. It's very, very juicy and interesting. So, this one says abuse. Guys. There are so many kinds of abuse, a lot of abuse. But in today's video, we are just going to be talking about two, which is emotional abuse and financial abuse. <laughs> emotional abuse and financial abuse. What is abuse? Someone can someone just talk about what abuse? Well, abuse is actually when you are forcefully trying to take hold of something from someone without their consent. Yes. You don't even care how they feel. Abuse is like inflicting pain on someone. Yes. It might be physical, it might be psychological, it might be emotional, like you don't even care. And abuse comes in different form. Yeah. Like, for example, if I am, because I'm a very emotional person. So for example, if I'm having a conversation with my man and the conversation is coming out from a place of, maybe we had an issue, instead of you to like tell me, oh babes, we have an issue. I don't like what you did. You start snobbing me, yeah. keeping my list with me. And that is an emotional abuse to you. Yeah. You might be like, it's I'm okay. trying to teach a yes. lesson. Uh-uh, that is an emotional abuse. <laughs> yes. And it has come to, to be like a norm in our generation now. We've normalized when you have an issue with your man, your girlfriend, you snob them or you keep my list with them for some few days. That is not that is an emotional abuse. When you have an issue with your man, you are angry at that moment. Okay, fine. After cooling off for some period of time, that same day, try to reach out and said, "Okay, we're not going. We're not going to bed angry at each other. We're yeah, not snobbing no, each other, no. because that is an emotional abuse. And in our educational sector, we have not had enough time to discuss about so many abuses. And people have now normalized a lot of things, toxic things for that matter, thinking it's a way of or pattern of being in a relationship, which okay. is not." Okay, we've already actually talked about emotional abuse, guys. So the next one we're going to be talking about is a very juicy one, a very important one for we ladies, financial abuse. Yes. What is financial abuse? Financial abuse is when you actually know that you have to assist this person financially. You know that that person is always not there for your money. She's not a gold digger. But intentionally, 
you just don't want to give that person money. Mm. And when you are giving her money, you are reminding her, I am giving you this money. You know? Like, there's one aspect that pisses me off, and the one that there are some guys, they will buy you phone. Whenever you guys have an issue, oh or yeah, <laughs> give me that phone I bought for you. <laughs> all clothes, leave my house and drop all the clothes I bought for you. Like, is it because I was not the one that bought it? Yeah, that's, that's why these days guys. women make their money yeah. so that this is my money, this is your money. Yes, you provide, you do the normal things, the basic things you're supposed to do, but there are some things I can do for myself so that later tomorrow you'll not say, ah, I'm the one that did everything for her. So if it, if it doesn't work out, then you just be like, okay, you're the one that did lose yeah. yeah. So um, another abuse I love to talk about is actually from our gender. We, the female genders. Is the part whereby when you go into a relationship, come and start billing the guy. And maybe the guy is just a working class. You will now write a list of things you want. You write woman hair, 250,000. <laughs> you write clothes, 70,000. <laughs> you write clothes, 70,000. You write, you list so many outrageous things that you want the guy to get for you. And the guy on the other part is trying to please you in every possible way. And most times, he might end up even using his savings just to please you. So that is an abuse. And when he doesn't meet up to your demands, you start giving him attitude, you start treating him like shit. Like that is a total abuse and a no-no for me. Yeah. I believe when you're in a relationship with a person, be it the male or female, you, you don't have to put your responsibility on that person yeah. because you are an individual on your own. You are a person on your own. You need to like work that. for your own money. You understand? Stuff like that. That's just what I believe. So girls, so these guys were treating like this, eh? They are human beings. They have feelings. To get to a point where they will be tired. And I feel like this can be a reason why they will not start ghosting. Yeah. This will take us back to ghosting because they'll yeah. be like, oh, more this girl, anytime when this girl comes, that's also billing, billing, debit alert, debit alert. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. why would somebody not run? That's like, true. no, the person is not gaining anything from you. Yeah. And that kind of relationship cannot end end up being long term. Yeah. It will be definitely it will not work out. Yeah. It will definitely end. So yeah, that's my point. So guys, we've talked about emotional abuse, talked about financial abuse, guys, and we also try to say that it is um same thing that is applicable to we the ladies. Yes. We also abuse the guys emotionally and financially. Yes. Though we are still going to be doing a video concerning how girls also abuses the guys. Though today's video is just mainly about the guys. guys so guys, the next um the next topic we are going to be talking about is about body shaming guys body shaming is a very common thing with guys like they do it to girls every time like they they do this thing without knowing that actually they are they are, they are emotionally bringing us down you always compare us to other girls mind you that when we are when you are created fat you are fat when you are created slim, you are slim. You cannot do anything about it unless you like you know when you are eating too much and you actually want to come down, maybe health issue, you just wanted to control what you eat. Exercising is good, watching your weight is good, but it has to be a personal decision. Girls, you just don't have to try to look like someone because your guy is constantly nagging, telling you, I don't like you, I want you to be wearing bikini, I want you to be wearing bum shirt, I want you to be wearing things that exposes your body. Girls, to an extent, they want to go and make their breasts get bigger because their boyfriend keeps telling them that their breast is too small. Or they want to have bigger boobs. Like, though some girls do it out of selfish reasons, but we are talking about those girls that guys actually make them do some things like this. Like, but the shame can kill someone. It can because make you do anything. Like, it can make you do something you didn't plan for yourself because we are trying to, um, uh, you are trying to please someone else. Maybe to make your relationship work. So, guys, we don't like when you body shame us. Can't you see you are big? You eat too much. Uh, uh, is this food only for you? Hey, like things like this. I swear, I think it's personal. 
seriously guys let's hear from them calm down oh my, no I, say. <laughs> I don't know if it's wrong to say married women suffer this thing most yeah. because, because yes from because men. yes from men from their husband because when the man will marry the girl or when he married her she's slim or even maybe she's chubby yes and then you know different hormonal changes we go Pre-pregnant, through yeah. with men pregnancy menstruation and everything the whole Kasala, like it's just too much yeah. and then there are just different changes in our bodies maybe your boobs are bigger your butt is now smaller or once you want your belly is now mommy's pouch that kind of mm-hmm. thing and then your husband will continuously nag you're the one that made her pregnant she carries your child your yes. children you people's children ah. so you're making it look like she did her own thing like madam see that you did i beg i beg take your body back to when yes. i met you this particular thing you're it actually was saying easy. Now, eh? there was this guy was actually having this conversation and from the way he was actually listening i just knew god please help me i'm sorry to say this but that guy was actually so daft he was saying that if his wife gets pregnant and she gives birth and she starts looking somehow that he will start losing having sexual urge to have sex. emotionally like, he's not mature i was like wait I said, then you should not even get married in the first place. Of course. Then you should never think of having kids. Just go and adopt. For you to actually think a woman who carried your children did not make... She sacrificed her body just to carry your children. And you're talking trash. And you're more concerned about her looking sexy than the children she brought forth for your uncle. You are not fit to be a father. You're not even fit to be a husband. I swear. You're not even fit to be in the circle of men. Women are talking. Please, don't marry. He was like, I said, yes, I'm taking it personal. Because somebody like me who is actually from it, who, who is chubby and on the big side from nature, and I get married. Fine, when I get married and I give birth, I will tend to watch my weight because I won't be comfortable with my weight yeah. going higher than where I want it. But you on the other side, you know how to make it worse. I do not have control over hormones. I do not have control how my body wants to yeah. react. Even as a single girl, I get a whole lot of body shaming from people. There was a time I used to date this guy and he made me have this inferiority complex. Yes. This inferiority complex. And it took me like a whole lot for me to actually Yes, like take my power back and be myself. He would always tell me, don't I see other girls? At the time, I, I just told myself, this is not even a relationship. Yeah. It's more like torture. Yeah. Every time I Emotional think about going torture. to see, I'm thinking of what to wear yeah. to cover my stomach. I'm like, oh, oh my, yes! I I'm like, like oh my, do you know I'm tired. I told him, uncle, I can't do this anymore. Seriously. Yes, I'm not just myself around him. I'm always cautious of what I do, what I eat, mm-hmm. so that you will not start telling me, ah, ah, you're looking like a sugar mommy. You. Ah, you. Like, I was, it was draining. It was mentally draining to me and I was like, you know, no, 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 I can't deal. Yeah. I just can't deal. So girls, when you can't deal, please run for your I'm telling life. you to to be a, let, let your sanity be at peace. Love you. Love yourself. Love yourself the way you are. Please. Oh. So now, you guys saw this girl the way she was. She was fat maybe before you met her. And then, now that she's in a relationship with you, you want her to be slim. Why did you not just go for a slim girl? Thank why did you, you put that girl through stress? Oh. Like why? Because girls are plenty. There are plenty of girls outside. Yeah. Men you can make your choice. You Date you want your it. spec. Yes. No, I, I can't. Date it. your spec. <laughs> Date your spec. <laughs> Hope you guys heard it. Thank Don't you. try to make someone look Don't like. Don't come and stress somebody's child. Yeah. Yeah. You saw me. You saw me like this, and you want me to be like that. Why? Baby, the first time you approached me, you were like, oh my god, I love your chubby nature, you look cute, you look beautiful. Then the next minute, you're telling me, eh, am I not seeing a Mecca's girlfriend? Eh, she has a slim waist, she has a round ass, she has... Uncle, uncle, when you met me, please, was I looking like Ekenes or Namdi's girlfriend? Was I looking like Amadi's girlfriend you or Amadi's you. wife? I, I was out. me. And... I hate men when they start doing this comparison and contrasting thing. Then, and this is a whole lot of body shaming. It affects us. It comes to our, it gives us inferiority complex. Yeah. You, you start having inferiority complex. You start, that you're not beautiful. like, devaluing yourself. Everybody is not meant to be slim. Everybody is not meant to be fat. Everybody is not meant to have the same body size. If everybody has the same body size, oh my, it's going to be boring. Yeah. It's yes. going to be boring. That is why God created specs in shapes and size in different figures. Our hands are not even equal. Let alone should our body 
statues and our body sizes be to be equal. Guys, please stop it. Funny enough, this girl ah. that you're body shaming, another guy is dying like over her. Like that. Like, ah. like that. Hey. She does not need to even do much. But you, because we are there for you now. Hey. The girls are there now. You can Obviously. just do anyhow. I feel like this thing. Okay.